Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in Horse Haven World Adventures. So I have a tier 2 Sanctity here that I recently managed to breed. So I want to try and get the tier 3. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, breed two of my friends tier 3s here. And uh, see if we can get a tier 3. No, this is a very expensive breeding, unfortunately. Right, it's got 8% chance. Right. If I get a second tier 2, I can just train it. Okay, we've got another tier 2, which is fine, because we can train that up and uh, sell it all for diamonds whenever it's fully trained, so that's not so bad. Okay, so I'm also going to try breeding a Mawari here. I don't have a Mawari right now, but I really, really like this horse, which is why I want to try breeding it. So I'm going to try breeding it to my Azteca here. So let's have a look and see. So we might get an Azteca tier 1, which we don't really want. We might get another Azteca tier 2 or we might get the Mawari. So I might re-roll if I don't get it. So let's see. Give us the Mawari, please. No, I do one. No, we're gonna re-roll. We're gonna use the balloons for that. I want I really do want the Mawari. I really like that horse. Yes! Okay, we got it. <laughs> That's great. Now we can work on training that one up. Okay, so I'm just going to give Todoroki some more food here. Um, hopefully this will level him up. Okay, so level 13. Let's see what we get as a possible. Okay, so we've got a weather skill, money, and uh, a regular skill. So I don't want the money. <laughs> okay, we got the, the weather improvement skill. That's, that's great. So that's better ice runner. So yeah, that is exactly what I wanted. That's great. So in my UK ranch here, I'm going to upgrade my paddock. It is costing me diamonds, unfortunately, but I want to complete this. It is a quest, so I'm going to level 5 paddock, and that's going to give us 60 diamonds. So it did cost more to get the actual paddock, but at least now it will give more XP to our horses when we train them. So I managed to get another Mawari tier 1 of the opposite gender, so basically what I'm going to do now is try breeding both of those together if I can find them here in my French ranch. Okay, there's one, there's the Colt, and there's the Philly. Okay, so I want to try and get a tier 2 Mawari. 19% chance, not bad actually. We might be lucky. Let's see how that goes. Because I really like this particular horse, I think it's a really, really stunning one. No, okay, we've got another tier 1, so. Not, but not had any luck this time, unfortunately, with that. So I'm going to go ahead here and feed a bunch of my horses because I want to get um, as much XP from feeding horses as possible so that I can try and level up in time for the next set of tier 4 horses. So at the minute I'm literally feeding every horse that I can feed. Um, as much as I have food to feed anyway. Sometimes I do run out of it. But thankfully I haven't run out of much so far. Okay, that's a decent amount for that. Right, I can't feed that one for not five minutes. Right, we'll feed Xavier here. You can have some turnips. Let's see how much XP we get from that. I mean, this gives our horses XP, which levels them up, and it also gives me player XP, which helps me level up, so that's what I want. I want to get to level 39, hopefully, before the next tier 4 leaves. Um, not the one that we've currently got, but the one after that. That's my goal. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead here and try breeding my Aztecas to try and get a higher tier. So, put my female in there. Where's my colts? There's my colts. Okay, so we're gonna try and get the next tier with these. Right, so 13% chance. I really like this particular Aztec. I think it's really nice. Oh, that was so close. Okay, no, we're not getting the tier 3 Azteca today by the looks of it. Okay, so I am gonna go and collect my puzzle pieces from the treasure boxes that I have. So let's see what we get. Some coins. Okay, some more ink pieces. More ink pieces. And some more money, okay. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and try again here. So, I'm gonna get my two Aztecas again. Where's the meal? There it is, okay. Once again, trying for that tier three, still 13% chance. Let's see if we get it this time. 
Oh yes, we did. Awesome. I really, really like this house taco. So yeah, I'm pleased by that. That's it's exactly what we wanted. Yeah, no, that's good. I'm happy with that. So that is a mythic. Um, we're gonna have to try it for the tier four when it's released. Okay, so I have to collect 250 diamonds. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell a few horses here that are level 10. At the minute I have like a surplus of thoroughbred horses um, in my UK ranch, so there's quite a few in here to sell off. Along with one or two others that are over level 10 now. Okay, so we only need six more diamonds, so I'm going to go ahead and watch some of the videos that give you free diamonds. Okay, now that I've watched some of the videos that give you free diamonds, that is completed that quest, so now we've got some points from our special quest for that, that's great. So I'm back on my UK ranch here and I've got a bunch of tier 1 Andalusians, so what I'm doing with these Andalusians right now, because they're tier 1s, I already have tier 3s, but I don't want tier 3s on this ranch. What I'm using my UK ranch for right now is to have a bunch of tier 1 Andalusians and use food to level them up to level 15 and then sell them off for diamonds because they level up quite quickly um, and they're also, they come out of the breeding house reasonably quick compared to let's say some of the other breeds that maybe take a couple of hours or a few days to come out of the breeding house so these are much easier to level up and uh, get diamonds from from selling once they're level 15 so that's kind of what I'm starting to do on this ranch and uh, I'm trying to build it up and then I might do the same on my fantasy ranch in the near future as well Right now I just have it on the UK ranch and I've only just started it, uh, but this is something that I want to kind of maintain maybe on two particular ranches as kind of uh, ranches that are specifically there just to mine diamonds from the horses. So obviously my horses, by the time they're level 10, I can't sell them all for diamonds, but I'd rather wait till they're level 15 because I'll get more diamonds and because they're so easy to level up compared to some of the other breeds. Um, obviously you could do this with another really low level tier one, um, you know, that might work as well, but I'm just using the Andalusians. So for the moment that's what I'm going to do with the UK ranch. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead here and do the Russian steeplechase, um, because obviously we're still working towards getting um, two other horses diamonded out, that being my ancient general Todoroki, and then my other horse Dark Shadow. So we'll go ahead and start this race. Um, Todoroki has nearly reached level 15, he's not just there just yet, but I think he's on level 13 at the moment, so still a little bit to go. But we'll finish this race and grab this skill upgrade. Okay, we're nearly finished on this one. Not long. I think we've actually gone past the milestone, yeah we have, okay. So we don't want to continue any further with that. I have been using the balloons from the event to continue, which is why I think this is a really great time to actually try diamonding out a horse. Okay, so that is an upgrade on his jump skill, that is perfect. So now we just have to get the get a little bit higher and then we're not far off that diamond skill, thankfully. Right, I'm gonna go undo the Nordic now as well. This is gonna give a weather skill this time. So this time I'm gonna bring Todoroki again and uh, hopefully get an upgrade on the Ice Runner. If we don't get Ice Runner, that's fine as long as we get um, something, you know. At the minute I don't think there's a risk of not getting anything because I don't think I've got another weather skill on him just yet. Okay, we're over the point that we need to be. Look that up though. So we can finish this now quite safely and get that. Okay, we don't need to continue this because we've reached the milestone we need. Okay, so. Here's the weather skill. Okay, so obviously, yes, he doesn't have a secondary skill yet. So what I really, really want is him to get an upgrade on Ice Runner. Let's see what he gets. Okay, he got Thundered Hoof. That's absolutely fine because now he has a secondary weather skill at the very least. So, so we're going to go back into the Nordic race this time to get the stamina upgrade. We're not going to be taking Todoroki because Todoroki has already got a diamond skill on that. So we're going to be bringing Dark Shadow for this. So... Here's Dark Shadow, because Dark Shadow is only on silver at the minute. I think he's on the secondary silver. So we're going to take him into this and get that upgrade on his stamina. So the Nordic's quite a tricky one sometimes, but we'll get there. Okay, we have a bit more to go 
with the Dark Shadow here. We're not far enough just yet for... Okay, so we're going to have to use the balloons to continue. So, it's actually much, so much easier to run this because Dark Shadow is quite slow because he doesn't have an upgraded speed um, at this moment in time. So he's actually, it's quite easy to jump through the fences. It's really, it gets much, much harder when your horse is a lot faster um, to actually be able to time the jumps because when it's so quick and sometimes you get jumps one after the other really, really close together, it can be quite tricky. So I kind of, I'm, I'm really glad that he's actually so slow <laughs> when I'm doing this race because it doesn't take that long actually to make progress. So this is obviously the horse that I want to be my Thunderhoof horse and that is why I'm trying to diamond him out. Obviously as I said before, because he isn't like a legendary, for example, he doesn't really have great skills so it's taking me much longer to actually level him up compared to the likes of All Might. It wouldn't have taken as many uh, steeple chases to level up All Might it won't take as many to level up Todoroki because Todoroki is a higher level horse and I don't have that with Dark Shadow but it's just this was the first tier 4 I think that I remember getting that I really really loved and that's why I kind of quite fond of this horse so we've also got past the point that we need to now but we're just going to go a little bit further just to get some more coins because uh, obviously with the amount of breeding we've been doing especially with a lot of quite expensive horses it would be better that we have some extra coins Okay, it doesn't look like we're going to get much further. Nope. Okay, so we don't want to continue anymore because we've got to where we need to be. Alright, so this is going to improve his stamina. And there we go. So now we've got gold stamina on Dark Shadow. That is, that's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. So here in the Pure Breed Society, I can't unlock the Pasifino because I'm not ranked 39 yet. I have unlocked the Knob Stripper. I've decided not to unlock the Canadian Pacer Tier 4 because I want to keep these gems for the next um, Pure Breed Society because I think some of the horses in it I'm really going to want. So for the moment, I am not going to spend these. So I've decided I'm just going to pass by the Canadian Pacer for this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try breeding here to one of my friends' horses. So we're going to try this Tier 3 Soraya. Uh, because I have tried again and again and again to breed my Sarayas and it has been very very slow so I'm gonna try doing this to up the chances maybe of uh, actually getting the tier 3 sooner so we've only a 9% chance is extremely low so we might get a tier 2 female which I'd be absolutely fine with so if we get a tier 3 female I'll be quite pleased actually yeah okay we did okay that's good because now we have one of each of the tier 2's so that's perfect Okay, so here in my Horsepedia, I've got a reward for getting 8 out of 8 tier 1 exclusive horses. So we've got 60 diamonds for that. And uh, I'm just going to check and see if there's any other ones that we've got a reward for as well. Okay, so for the tier 3, we got a reward. We've got 4 out of 4 horses for that. So congratulations, you won a reward. We got 120 diamonds for that. Uh, so this is just the exclusive horses. I'm not looking at my common horses right now, um, but these are the horses that I've got so far. So basically you can tell, so collect 12 horses, for example, for that tier. Eight horses have to be collected out of that tier. Um, eight out of eight for that one. There's only I only have one tier four knight right now. Um, I don't have anything else, and there doesn't appear to be anything else right now. But these are the horses that I've got so far. Obviously there's a lot of exclusive horses that I don't have. Some of them, you know, there were ones you had to buy. Um, and then there's some that I'm kind of working on getting, like Sanctity, hopefully I plan to have a tier 3 Sanctity eventually. Obviously right now we can collect ink pieces, puzzle pieces in the current uh, event, so I hope to then have ink in the near future um, once I unlock all the puzzle pieces and I unlock his recipe. Hopefully it's not a really, really tricky recipe, I'm hoping it will be um, reasonably easy to breed ink, but I guess we're going to have to wait and see in that regard, I don't know how difficult or easy it's going to be. So over here in my UK ranch I can now add an extra field because obviously when I leveled up I unlocked some new buildings. I can also have another solid factory so we're going to go ahead and add that to our ranch so we can make more solids now. Okay, so Todoroki is really close to being level 14 here. I think when we feed him here, he should actually level up to level 14, and then hopefully we're going to get a really good spin wheel. So, level 14, let's see, yes, okay, so we have a weather skill possibility, a skill upgrade, or diamonds. So, any of those, I'd be quite happy. Obviously, I really like that skill upgrade. 
Okay, we got the weather adoption. That's still great. That because weather adoptions can be a real pain to get. So no, I'm really pleased with that. That is ideal. So we're back here with the US Racing. We're gonna go ahead and claim our treasure boxes. So we got some more ink pieces there. I'm really close to getting the 80 pieces out that I need for Ink's puzzle piece recipe. And then once we unlock the recipe, hopefully we'll be able to try and breed for that exclusive horse. So we're gonna go ahead and put All Might into these races. Obviously right now All Might hasn't got, well, I don't have any horse yet with a Diamond Ice Runner. We're working on getting Todoroki to be Diamond Ice Runner. So for the moment, I'm not expecting um, to get any first places with this. So we'll just go ahead and do all of these races and see where we finish out. Okay, so we've now got all four uh, treasure boxes for the moment. Let's have a look. So this is the recipe pieces in here. Um, so let's have a look and see how many more we have to get for ink. We're on 66 out of 80, so I feel like in a couple of days we'll have that. That's great. Okay, so we're gonna head in here to the Mexico Steeplechase, and we're gonna bring Todoroki in to do this to level up his jump skill. So. At the moment it is requiring Thunderhoof and thankfully he has that weather adaption so it shouldn't be too hard to do this. So we'll run him until we get to that milestone. Okay, I think we've reached where we needed to be for this so we'll just run him through the mud now. And finish that. Okay, so we don't need to continue. We've reached the milestone that we needed to be at for this. So that will give us an upgrade on jumping on him. There we go. So we've got the second uh, level of gold uh, jumping on him. Okay, so Gran Torino here, which is my tier 3 Azteca, I'm going to go ahead and feed this horse a lot of food so that we can level it up to level 5 uh, so that we can see its adult uh, form because I haven't got to see the adult form of the tier 3 Azteca on my own game, so I'm curious to see this. Okay, so now she's leveling up, so let's have a look at her, see what she looks like. Okay, that is really pretty. I really like that tier 3. That's a really nice tier 3. I think that's super cute. So I'm here on one of my friend's ranches and I'm going to try their tier 3 Mawari to my tier 1 Mawari uh, because I've been breeding my tier 1 Mawaris to try and get tier 2s and they keep giving me tier 1s. So I've decided to try to a tier 3 um, to see if we can get a tier 2. If I can find my Mawaris now, they seem to be hiding from me. I think they're way down here at the bottom somewhere. So yeah, there it is. Okay, let's try breeding her with this tier 3. Okay, we've only got a 7% chance of a tier 3, we've got a 48% chance of getting another tier 1, which we don't want, and 45% chance of this tier 2 Moari, so we want the tier 2, or the tier 3, but not the tier 1. <laughs> so let's see what we get. Okay, that's great, tier 2, I'm happy with that, um, because I've been struggling to get that with my tier 1 breeding, to get a tier 2. So anyways, scrubs, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you had a lovely day and bye bye!